crafting on a budget. Today's video is another video request. Yay for all the video requests. I love them. Today's request comes from Jennifer and it reads, can you come up with a cute toilet paper storage? Well, Jennifer, I think I've come up with something that I think you'll like. This project will cost about $4 to make. If you don't already own a one pound spool of craft cord, then it's gonna cost you about six or 650. So let's get to it and let me show you what all I've picked up for this project. The first items that I've picked up are from the Dollar Tree. I picked up one of these white rectangular storage bins. I also picked up some of their twine, one of these tri-fold cardboard display boards from the Dollar Tree as well. Heading on over to Walmart, I picked up a yard of this fabric. This fabric came from their value section. And you'll also need some of this thicker craft cord that you can get at Walmart if you don't have it already for $2.97 for this one pound spool. So plug in your hot glue gun and let's get to crafting. Starting this project off, I'm gonna take the white storage bin from the Dollar Tree that I picked up. I'm gonna take my fabric measuring tape place it along the top of this bin, and I'm gonna come down to about here, which is 11 inches. So it's 11 by 12 are the measurements that I need for this. Next, I'm gonna take the tri-fold display board that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I've used this in three other projects. This will be the fourth project. What I'm gonna do is where the existing crease is in this cardboard, I'm gonna go down about two inches and I'm gonna cut across the board. Now I'm gonna take the storage bin and where the existing fold is in the cardboard, I'm gonna take and line up my storage bin face down, lining the edge of the cardboard up with the edge of the storage box. I'm gonna take a pencil. So we have something that looks like that. The idea is that we are going to put the flap inside the storage bin and mine is fitting a bit snug. So I am going to take and just cut a notch out here. And now this will fit nicely inside of the box. So when it folds down, this is our lid. I've picked up this beige seated cotton fabric from Walmart, and this is a fabric that they keep in stock in their valued section. I picked up several yards of this fabric because I will be using it in several projects and you can't beat it when it's a dollar a yard. Now I'm gonna take my storage bin, I'm gonna place it bottom down on the fabric and I am going to trace the bottom. Now I'm going to cut this out, but I'm not gonna cut on the line that I just made. I'm gonna go an inch out and cut an inch out all the way around the perimeter of the line. Now I'm going to notch out the corners just a bit on all four corners. The reason I notch out the corners is so when I fold these over, I have a nice corner. Now I'm gonna take and fold this edge over using my hot glue gun. Moving on to the cardboard lid. I am going to cover just the inside of this cover. And again, I'm gonna cut an inch around the perimeter of the line I just drew. Now I'm gonna take my Krylon spray adhesive and I am going to spray the inside of this cardboard lid. If you don't have Krylon spray adhesive, the Dollar Tree does carry a miniature bottle of spray adhesive. I've sprayed my cardboard. Now I'm going to flip it over and place it on my fabric. And I'm going to fold back my edges of the fabric. My lid is covered. Next, we are going to take and trace this one more time. And this time we are going to cut right inside the line. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna spray this side with the Krylon spray adhesive. 
My lid is completely covered. Taking my fabric measuring tape, I'm gonna take it, put it at the top of my bin, and run it along the outside of two sides of this bin. And it measures out at about 19 inches. I'm gonna add an inch onto that 19 and make it 20. Now I'm gonna take and measure how tall the bin is and it is measuring out at seven inches. So I am gonna take that seven inches and I am going to add four inches to it, making it 11 inches. We're gonna take our fabric measuring tape and we are going to measure out 11 inches. And I'm gonna do that in a couple of spots. Then I'm gonna take my measuring tape where I just marked and I am going to measure out 20 inches. And now I'm going to cut along the measurements of the 11 by 20 inches that I've just marked, cutting out two pieces of fabric. So here I've got my 11 by 20 inch piece of fabric that is two layers thick on the crease. So we've got one big piece of fabric. So now we're gonna take the right side of our fabric and we are going to fold it and put it on the inside of our fold. So now the wrong side of our fabric is on the outside. The side that's open, we're gonna take and hot glue it together. Then I'm gonna take and hot glue closed one 20 inch side. going to take the craft cord and I am going to wrap the bottom half of my storage container. My storage container is wrapped and I didn't go all the way up because the fabric that we put inside is going to fold over. So there's no sense in wasting the craft cord and going all the way up. I'm gonna take the cardboard cover that I made and there's the real nice covered side and the other side that we put the fabric flap on. I am going to cover this in craft cord as well, only going as far as where the cardboard bends. Now I'm gonna take the fabric that we hot glued together and I'm going to place it inside the bin. Now you can take your last piece of fabric and put it in the bottom. Now I'm gonna take the outside of the box and I am going to fold the fabric up and hot glue it so it doesn't come undone. Take the lid and I am going to hot glue it to the back here. Pull back this fabric, revealing the storage container again. And I am going to glue the fabric and the lid to the plastic storage container. Okay, that is perfect. That is much better. It is going to stay, it is sturdier. So now we can pull the fabric back over the container. Now I'm going to take my twine and it is eight strands thick. And there you have it, my DIY farmhouse country toilet paper storage using Dollar Tree items. Well, everybody, that's all I have for you for this video for today. Jennifer, I hope you enjoyed this video and you like this enough to go ahead and make one yourself. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that red button and stick around a while for more crafting on a budget videos to come. If you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Google+. You can find those links in the description box below. Just click on those links, click follow, and you'll also be notified through social media when I'm uploading a new video or just doing something fun. You can also find my P.O. box in the description box below as well if you're interested in sending me fan mail and watching me open it up in a video. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget, and bye for now.